let's talk about toxicity. And, and, and more importantly, where is it coming from? Where, where is this toxicity spouting from? Well, you have Game of Thrones, and a lot of people enjoy the TV show to the point where you have mothers giving the name Daenerys to their children, right? Like, that is the emotional investment that we get to see from the fan base. So at that point, no one is saying, well, you know, maybe you're taking this a little bit too much. Uh, maybe, no, 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 like that was fine. Why was it fine? Because it was putting food on the table of R.R. Martin, right? Like people liked it. They were getting praise, even though they became fanatic with it. And, and they were taking it to, to level of fanaticism that was a little bit too much. There were no complaints then, right? Like everything is fine. You, you, you see that people are becoming unhinged over this piece of media. But it's all good, right? Because George R.R. Martin is getting paid. So what ends up happening? You get to see that R.R. Martin doesn't finish his books, which is fine, you know? Like, if he's incapable of doing it, that's understandable. But the people that were the showrunners, they start listening to activists, right? And, and you get to notice that when they start listening to activists and they start adding their agendas into the show, the show becomes shit. To the point that by the end of the last season, it's universally hated. So you have all these individuals, right? All these women, all these moms that, that named their daughter Daenerys who, who really cared about the show and who were really emotionally involved. And, and, and they spent a lot of money on merchandise and they invested a lot of their time into it. Now they're, they're disappointed. And how do people from the production team of the show address these women? Well, Peter Dinklage comes out and says, well, it's a show about dragons. Why do you care? Who cares about the ending? It's a show about dragons, right? So you have like this actor who manages to become a multi-millionaire who gets on top of a podium on the back of his fans, on the back of all those women that, that were watching the show. And he is now insulting them. So, so please tell me more about toxicity. Where is the toxicity coming from? Why is it that when Peter Dinklage does that, you don't see George R.R. Martin go like, hey, that's a little bit disrespectful, don't you think? Why are you being so antagonistic towards people? What, what, what did these women do to you, Peter? Why, why are you being like that? But he continues, right? He then goes on and he says, oh, people didn't like the ending because they didn't get to see pretty white people fly to the sunset. So, like, first of all, why is he being a racist twat? Why does he have to make this about the human genome? Why, why does he have to make it about genetics? Why, why does he care about how people's family fucked, you know? Like, why, why does he care about the family tree and the heritage? What, what is white people, Peter Dinklage? By what do we go? By the one drop rule? Or do, do you measure skulls as well? Like, how, how is that? But that's neither here nor there. The main issue is the gaslighting. Which, is, again, like, gaslighting is a toxic form of abuse. There were pretty white people that flew up in the sunset at the ending of Game of Thrones. Like, you, you had Jon Snow, that is considered the victor. You had Brandon Stark, which got the throne. You have Sansa Stark, that won. And you also have um, Peter Dinklage himself. Maybe he doesn't consider himself to be pretty, you know? Maybe maybe he's just like, hashtag white, not, not pretty white people. But the point is, it's like all of the, the, the victorious characters in the ending were white. Right, Arya Stark, she she went literally into the sunset on a boat. So he is gaslighting. Did he not watch the old ending? Right? Why is he being so toxic and abusive towards the people that helped them be successful? And not only that, right? Like, what does he do with the money that people gave him? Well, he decides to kick the ladder for other actors in Hollywood. He goes like, "Oh my God, like Snow White." Oh, so so. I, I can't believe that they're doing dwarves in 2022. I can't believe it. Like, how can they? I do not allow it. I am Peter Dinklage, and I use the body that I got from my fans to not allow this. So you now have, like, the actors that were suffering from dwarfism going like, Hey, Peter, uh, aren't you a little bit of a hypocrite? Like, you got your role in Game of Thrones specifically because of, of the genetic issue that you're having. So uh, why is it that we can't do the same? Like, why are you kicking the ladder away from all of us? It's like, do, do you think, like, you should be the only person that plays in, in roles of, like, dwarves in, in Hollywood? Like, can't we do the same? Can't, can't other actors do the same? And that's, you know, 
the toxicity. Like, like, like this is coming from the production team, and I'm I'm just scratching the surface here. By the way, I'm not I'm not even like going in deep. But I, I just want to point out, it's like when when the people in production are being toxic as fuck, no one calls them out. The only time people call out is like when the fans are being toxic, right? Like the peasants aren't allowed. It's like, who, who cares about the peasantry? It's like some people on the internet, they have bad things. No, no, the, they're not allowed. The only people allowed to have bad things are Peter Dinklage, uh, Dumb and Dumber, the directors of, of Game of Thrones, and of course George R. R. Martin. Like, like you guys are allowed to have bad takes uh, because you're rich, I guess. Or what is the argument, huh? And I think like you you need to be like rich, but somewhere in the middle. If you're too rich, you also aren't allowed to have bad takes. Like Donald Trump isn't allowed to have bad takes. Neither is Elon Musk. Okay, it's just like people that are they're they're not billionaires, but they're like multi-millionaires, right? Only only multi-millionaires are allowed to have bad takes. Poor people aren't. Millionaires aren't, multi-millionaires are, and billionaires aren't. The thing with George R.R. Martin, by the way, what, what he is doing is also incredibly disrespectful. Um, <clears throat> if you are going to tell people to get invested into the IP that you're making, so, so you're having uh, deals for keychains, shirts, board games, and all this other shit, right? And people are invested into your brand. And, and they are... Literally paying for your existence. You do owe them something. Like, I'm sorry, you do owe them something. They they literally give you their money. They, they're giving you, like, they go to work, they toil in the factory, right? They, they slave hard. Maybe some of them are hardworking immigrants, you know? They, they, they're coming from Mexico into the United States, and they're, they're slaving away at the toilet of a Democrat for minimum pay. And that person is watching Game of Thrones and is purchasing a key ring, right? So, like, George R. R. Martin gets his money. He does owe that person something. He does owe that abuelita something. And what he does owe her is, number one, conclusion to his story. Or if he is incapable of providing a conclusion, he owes her an apology. What he shouldn't do is to start mocking, belittling, and pretending that he doesn't understand where she is coming from. Because that is disrespectful. That is toxic. You, you can't bait and switch people like this. Like, if you're going to create a franchise and you promise that you're going to finish, then you either finish it, or if you can't finish it, you apologize. You say, look, these are the reasons why I can't finish it, and that's that. With George R.R. R. Martin, I don't think he's ever going to finish his book. Um, this is why I normally don't even care about what he posts, but every now and then people are showing me, it's like, hey, look, this is what he posted, this is what he said. And I find it disrespectful. You do not get to blame the people that put food on your table for being toxic. Especially when you don't call out people from within the production team when they are being toxic. Like Peter Dinklage should have been called out the moment that he opened his mouth. And I, I would go out of my way to make absolutely sure that I do not give any type of money to Peter Dinklage. You know how like activists are on Twitter and, and they do not give any money that goes to J.K. Rowling? Peter Dinklage is my J.K. Rowling. I will not give a single cent to anything that he is involved in because of how disrespectful he was towards the fans. I'm not a masochist. I'm thinking like, oh, if I give him money again, maybe he will disrespect me one more time. Why would I put myself in that position? Anyway, right. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.